California, a leader in the global economy, a culture of innovation. California, a land as diverse as its people, a priceless natural treasure to be preserved and protected. California, the leading edge of the American dream. As California's economy continues to grow, so will its population, increasing 30% in the next 20 years. By 2030, 50 million people will call the Golden State home. 50 million building the California of the 21st century. 50 million working, creating, innovating, moving. More cars, more flights, more people, more goods moving every day. What will it mean? The strain on transportation facilities uh, will exceed and just overwhelm mobility in California. A population of 50 million just doing more of the same, uh, it's pretty clear we need an alternative. Planning for the transportation needs of the California of tomorrow, today, is critical to California's prosperity, productivity, and sustainability in the 21st century. Adapting will require new innovative approaches, highly efficient, safe, and clean alternatives that support our growing economy and protect our landscape and environment. This is high-speed rail. Quality of life, I think, is going to be redefined in the next decade, and probably one of the most important elements of quality of life is how much time you get to live it. There's never been a, a bigger need for this high-speed train. Um, I think that's the only way we're going to be able to handle all of those people. There's no other way. Often maligned as science fiction in the United States, high-speed trains are a fact of life in most of the world's developed industrialized economies. In fact, High-speed trains have proven to be the safest and most reliable form of transportation in the world, ideally suited for the unprecedented needs of California in the 21st century. There's just not enough money to build new highways and take care of all of the existing ones, and uh, we really need to look at alternatives. Uh, High-speed rail, um, to me, is a solution for getting people out of their cars, getting rid of the gridlock. Feasibility studies document high-speed trains' advantages for linking California's metropolitan regions together in a highly efficient, environmentally friendly network by 2020. Employing state-of-the-art technology and moving at sustained speeds up to 220 miles per hour, California high-speed rail will extend from Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area in the north to San Diego in the south. A trip from San Diego to Los Angeles, city center to city center, in under an hour and 20 minutes. A trip from Los Angeles to Fresno, in less than an hour and a half. A trip from San Francisco's Trans Bay Transit Center to Los Angeles' Union Station in just over two and a half hours, every time, regardless of weather. Two and a half hours, downtown San Francisco, downtown Los Angeles. You don't have to wait in those long lines. You don't have to worry about buying carbon offsets. You have an opportunity to get work done and to do it in a way where you are providing an example for generations to focus on a future that is more sustainable, more green, and more connected. High-speed trains are extremely important for Fresno and other Central Valley cities because the system will connect the valley to Northern and Southern California. And most importantly, the spine of that system is essentially the Central Valley. High-speed trains will also provide fast, frequent service for shorter trips. A trip from downtown San Francisco to downtown San Jose in a half hour. Downtown Los Angeles to Palmdale and Ontario airports in 25 minutes. High-speed rail holds the potential to be a viable alternative to driving that can help reduce traffic congestion, improve air quality, and make getting to and from the airport easier for everyone. High-speed trains will provide passengers with safe, comfortable, on-time service with ridership potentially exceeding 100 million passengers a year by 2030. The options are either 
expand the highways, expand the, the runways, and expand the airport gates, all at a cost of over $82 billion. We can build the high-speed train for half that cost. High-speed trains are good for California's environment. Running on overhead electric lines, high-speed trains are a clean technology, ideally positioned for California's future. The governor and the legislature have seen the light on global warming. They've seen the light on energy efficiency. High-speed rail uses a fraction of the energy of other long-distance transport solutions. Less than one-third as much energy as airplanes and less than a fifth the amount of energy used by people driving these long distances. So high-speed rail is, is clearly the, one of the best ways to reduce uh, greenhouse emissions in the state. We can't get there alone without high-speed train. We need this alternative so that we can reduce greenhouse gas emissions, improve air quality, and reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Using existing right-of-ways in rail and freeway corridors, high-speed trains will minimize impact on farmland, wetlands, and sensitive habitats. High-speed trains will counter the tendency towards sprawl in California's emerging urban centers by promoting sustainable, transit-oriented development. Many communities have already made it their policy priority to encourage that kind of development for a host of very good reasons and the high-speed train will really help them make that happen. I believe that expanding those opportunities in a 20-minute uh, high-speed train ride from Anaheim in the center of what we call the Platinum Triangle in the middle of the densest area of all of Orange County with uh, residential densities, to be able to get from there to downtown Los Angeles in 20 minutes is a great way not only to relieve traffic congestion on freeways, but to address future uh, potential and future needs. High-speed trains will require no operating subsidy and will strengthen California's economy, resulting in as many as 450,000 new jobs while safeguarding the mobility essential to the state's prosperity. The train system itself is going to provide benefits even before the train is built. We are providing jobs through the contracting process. We're going to be doing right-of-way land acquisitions. Moving safely on improved separated grades slated for construction over the next decade, California's entire rail and road network will be vastly improved. Separated grades will eliminate crossing points between cars and trains, reducing both noise and congestion, allowing for safer, more efficient movement on both rail and road. With the grade separations, you're going to be able to move freight a lot faster. High-speed transportation is a essential element of ensuring that California is attractive to business people and to investors in businesses and to people who want to work in those businesses. If you look at the new uh, dedicated freight line that goes from the port of Los Angeles out through LA, and this is a multi-billion dollar project for freight. Well, we need a multi-billion dollar project for people and high-speed trains are the way to go. With program-level environmental reviews successfully completed, California is closer than ever to achieving its dream of fast, reliable, environmentally sustainable transportation for the 21st century. Addressing climate change is one of the Sierra Club's top national priorities. Climate change is really something that we all have to work together to help solve. We understand that a healthy economy and, and a green economy are one and the same, and high-speed rail is going to be an important part of that in California. To make it happen, the California High-Speed Rail Authority is acting now to preserve right-of-ways and complete engineering and environmental studies critical to building the system on time. The longer we wait, the more money that it costs. We can't afford to waste taxpayer money by waiting. I believe we need to focus on the future. We need to focus on our next generation. Uh, what is our planet going to look like? How is our next generation going to get to work? Um, and I think we need to put on our long-term uh, hats and think about the benefits in the long term and not just today. I think it's going to be essential for our economic future of the Bay Area to have high-speed rail. The convenience is extraordinary, the competitive again advantages of being able to have choice as it relates from moving north to south across the state is incredibly important. Let's just get moving, let's build this high-speed rail. It is time once again for California to innovate. It is time once again for California to lead the way.
This is high-speed rail.